Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to a Clash of Clans episode. Today guys, we're going to be featuring the Govalo Town Hall 9 attack strategy. We're also going to talk a little bit about the update that's coming out and also going to feature a Town Hall 10 3 star attack right at the end for a little bit of flavor. So let's see if we can get 200 likes for this video. Let's see if we can hit it together. Really supports the channel guys. So let's go underway with Meow's attack and the Govalo is crucial to get the Clan Castle troops, the Archer Queen and access to the four air defenses to get knocked out by the kill squad which is consisting mostly of Valkyries to wipe out the four air defenses before balloons come in and snipe out the defenses on the outside so here we go you got to make sure you notice a base that can be used by this attack by centralized air defenses and defenses on the outskirts of the base like so so loons are coming in right now sniping the defenses of the outside while they get distracted by the troops in the center which is usually the kill squad so loons are coming in now there's heaps of them and the way you do the loon deployment is trickle them in uh, two or three loons uh, per defense so that if if they're bunched up that means the whiz towers can shoot them down all in one go like so um, and you don't want that so valkyries on the outside heaps of cleaning cleaning up troops for this attack well done meow really clean go valo awesome attack so let's talk about a bit the update while the next attack is underway as you know the principles of the go valo already so uh, the big hint that I saw was Supercell uh, announcing a live stream, an air versus ground live stream to the Supercell community forums, um, inviting people uh, to go there. So that means uh, 10 people will be in Finland, Helsinki doing a live stream um, featuring the new content and features of the update. So that live stream is on October 9th. So that's a huge hint when the update will be coming out so it's got to be before then right um, let me know if you know any other thing, anything about this information um, any other hints as well so uh, so here's another go Valo. double jump spells is the keys key right now my clan uses double jump spells really effectively and uh, rage spell in the center and also heal spell as well to keep those valkyries alive and another jump spell on the other side to wipe out those two air defenses on the opposite end so there is a bit of a tesla farm here so uh, this is not good for the loons right now especially the ones from the south uh, they're going to get zapped pretty quickly down there but um, there's the arch queen alive still and also valkyries clearing up the uh, trash on the outside as well so these three loons are probably going to get destroyed oh look at that there's there was a air mine air bombs uh, there was all a lot of trouble for those loons here comes the three valkyries and the arch queen though uh, that should be more than enough to wipe out the rest of the base well done to meow for doing two awesome govalo attacks so this next attack guys this next attack it looks like a govalo on paper but he has a lava hound in the clan castle so I guess you can kind of rate it still a Govalo because it's only one Lava Hound, right? You can't really... I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a it's a it's just a Govalo with a Lava Hound in the clan castle or is it now a different attack strategy? But I thought it's just a Govalo. So the, there's a funnel with the Valkyries on the outside and the Wizards. He's looking to enter through the southern corner and two jump spells to access all those air defenses right there. And I, you can already see the path that he's going to take with the jump spells. And uh, it's it's so clear to me now that he's that I've actually watched the attack. And here we go, jump spell th through the air, first air defense, rage spell to get through to the core and knock out the arch queen. And uh, the great great response uh, with the other jump spell up in the north. Valkyries will wipe out the town hall and get to that air defense asap. And then he should start looking to send in the loons. So the reason why. I think that he put in the Lava Hound because the defenses in the north aren't really right on the edge so um, there's a fair way to get in there so he he got to get deeper into the base so he decided to send in a Lava Hound with a couple of loons behind it uh, so they can the, the Lava Hound can tank for the loons but essentially it's still a go Valo with a over the Lava Hound in the clan castle so uh, really uh, really change of tactic there by googly and I think it's a smart one because those Teslas are deep inside the base um, and they're not on the first layer of defense. So 
very good decision by Googly. He's really thought about about this base and the attack and what is going to happen in the second part of the raid. So there we go. One more Tesla to go. And that is a three star attack by Googly. Well done, dude. A really good attack, guys. And uh, we're still looking for clan members. So if you uh, want to be a three star attacker or you think you already are, uh, make sure you find us and uh, apply. Make sure you read the requirements, so uh, because we don't want to reject people if um, if we can avoid it. So, Odium, this is a three-star attack strategy. This is a Town Hall 10. I thought I'd switch it up with a Town Hall 10 attack. Awesome attack. I've had this for a while actually, and I've been trying to save it for a special episode. And I thought, you know what? Let's chuck it in this one because. Um, why not? Why not, right? So here's a funnel going in with the wizards, minions on the outside as well to help with the funnel. There goes the wall breakers to get into the core. And look at these again. There's another two two jump spells. So he's looking to knock out those two infernos. And look what's in between those two infernos is the archer queen. So um, that's a really good news for. Odium, not not a probably probably not the best base design now that you can see that going unfold but he also has bowlers in the clan castle which doesn't go towards the center like he wanted to but they're going to clean up on the outside anyway um, that's the good thing about the bowlers they can do cleanups on the outside and valkyries valkyries are just wreaking havoc havoc in the um the core there knocking out those two infernos and the the town hall and the bowlers are doing their job actually. They're actually uh, double bouncing the damage and knocking out defenses, helping the hogs there. And uh, Valkyries, the Valkyries are just so strong. Those ma max Valkyries are just amazing. And Odium has done really well uh, to, you can you can really tell this is gonna be an awesome three star. Um, we got the Arch Queen still alive. Bowl is still on the outside. Probably They probably did better on the outside than going into the core. And there's a couple hogs left, Valkyries, Archers. There's a lot of troops left guys and even a giant's alive and that one archer tower just has no no chance against these remaining troops so hope you guys enjoyed that uh three star attack episode um both town hall 9 and town hall 10 let me know what you think about when the update is coming out um remember to subscribe to this channel because i will have the latest sneak peeks for that update make sure you put in hashtag I love three stars in the comments below to let me know you watch the entire video smack that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and remember guys stay wicked